if I told you that one simple tweak to your training could make a massive difference and rapidly speed up the muscle growth you're seeing? This is not clickbait. This is how I made small tweaks to my training over time to make it more efficient and I transformed my physique in the process. See, people only wanna look at one side of the equation when it comes to building muscle. You've got your training and recovery. It's all well and good going into the gym, hammering six days a week in the gym, putting loads of effort into your training and really pushing yourself. But if you're not taking care of the simple things like sleep and actually adequate recovery, taking care of yourself outside the gym, eventually the weights are gonna stall. And this is why people always search online for, why am I not growing my chest? Why am I not growing my shoulders? Why are my arms not growing? It all comes back to the same answer, which is you are not applying progressive overload, which means getting more reps and then adding weight over time. So you've gotta take a step back when weight, the weight stall in the gym, or you're not building muscle as, as quickly as you hope. What is it that's actually impairing your ability to push the weights up in the gym? Usually it's inadequate recovery, not looking at your sleep and trying to do too much in those gym sessions. My current training partner, in fact, has been training for 20 years. He's 40 now. He's in very good shape, much more muscle mass than me, but I've actually helped him in his more advanced training stage of increasing his rest periods and focusing more on recovery, which has helped him actually take his physique to the next level. Now, why is it that people have a tendency to actually do too many sets in the first place? Well, let's take a step back and think why were we doing four sets, five sets, tons of sets with limited rest periods? It's because back in the day, there was this mechanism that people thought caused hypertrophy, so building muscle was metabolic stress, which essentially means increasing blood flow into the muscle and creating this pump effect. And the way this would be done would be short rest periods, 30 to 60 seconds, doing four sets. Eventually you feel very pumped in the muscle now we now know that this is outdated and the only real driver of muscle growth is something known as mechanical tension, which essentially just means training close to failure, right? So you have to be pushing yourself close to failure on a working set, not leaving more than one to two reps in the tank. At this point in the set, it starts to accumulate the high threshold motor units that control the muscle fibers, and this creates a stimulus to the body essentially. So majority of muscle fibers are being stimulated, signal to the body kicks off the process of building muscle and the body then responds if there is adequate recovery. But if you are neglecting training close to failure at the expense of just doing loads of sets, trying to get a pump on, you're not actually building muscle. If we now know that the only way that you're actually gonna build more muscle over time is training close to failure to stimulate mechanical tension and then applying progressive overload, which means adding more reps per set, then adding a small increment up in weight building the weights up over time. So simply put, if you're doing three sets of 10 on eight kilos today, can you get to three sets of eight on 10 kilos, 12 kilos, 14 kilos over the next few months? If you do that with good form, your muscles will grow. If you're not doing that and the weight's not going up, you're not gonna build any more muscle regardless of how many sets you're doing and how much of a pump you are getting. So what is the biggest thing that you can do that's not actually changing much of your current training is rest periods, right? If you go from doing one minute rest periods for four sets, what's gonna happen is you're gonna accumulate fatigue and you're gonna be tired. So by the end of your third, fourth, fifth exercise, you're just doing junk volume and the quality of those sets are doing nothing for muscle growth. Whereas if you even went down by one set on each exercise to say three sets of 10 rather than four sets of 10, I've applied this with clients, go to two minute rest periods rather than one minute rest periods, and I promise you the weights will start flying up. Because at a certain point, your ability to recover if you're doing one minute rest periods, I promise you, a hard set of squats, a hard set of deadlifts, chest press, rows, pull downs, all these big exercises where you're using multiple muscle groups, they are very taxing. If you stack days of training back to back and you are not actually resting properly between sets, eventually you're gonna burn out. And this is why people think they have to take a deload when actually you just need to take longer of resting between sets. So I promise you, I've applied this with clients and seen amazing results. Clients going from one minute rest period to two minute rest periods and seeing their weights fly up way quicker in the gym. And I've transformed my physique doing this over the last few years. Whereas the years before that, when I was training inefficiently, the first couple of sets, I would have to back away from failure. And you know this yourself, if you're doing a set of four sets of 10 and you feel like you have to back off in the first couple of sets so far from failure to in order to actually get that third, fourth, fifth set out, then what is the point in doing those first couple of working sets if they're not even close to failure or doing anything for muscle growth? So save yourself a bit of time, 
and use that extra time that would be spent doing the four set to just rest a bit longer, manage your recovery better, and I promise you the weights will go up quicker in the gym. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, drop it a like, hit subscribe if you're new for more simple fat loss and muscle building tips. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.